Welcome back to Give It a Shot. And uh, we're doing a, a new beer from Sierra Nevada, which we haven't hit that many beers from Sierra Nevada. This one is called Ultraviz. And it's from a variety pack. And uh, so we're gonna give you all four beers. Is there four? Four in this one? Three in beers. Pack? In the variety pack, you get four beers, mm -hmm. and there's like uh, three of each, and it's a 12 pack. I mean, oh, 12, yeah. Yeah. So this one is a ghost. Yeah. Ghost style. G O S E. I don't know how you're supposed to say ghost that. Ghost style ale. Yeah, ghost, ghost style ale. Says ale brewed with cactus and grapefruit. So this ought to be really interesting because uh, yeah. uh, William and I have not, except for um, me and my um, son, we did a, a beer that was a ghost style and it tasted very lemony. I wonder if this one's going to have some lemony taste to it. Some, we uh, actually, uh, some, some overtone to it. So yeah. maybe that is what makes a ghost style. Mm -hmm. we, we actually looked up. You were saying that this one's like 50% wheat in the, in the style. Yeah. So, it's, it's, so we'll look, I'll look that up in a second. I, I, I went off a page. I'm on a different page right now. Okay. I'm on the um, page for this beer. But do uh, you want me to say the ABV and, and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got here? In junk. Um, so the alcohol content is five, 4.5% by volume. So it's not very high at all. Not very high. Yeah, not it, very high at all. So we can drink a lot of yeah. these. Um, it's gravity, gravity stuff. We don't, we don't like talk about gravity because we hate the <laughs> law of gravity. I hate gravity. I wish I could fly. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Gravity still no doubt. It's, it's still confusing to us about uh, the whole solids and liquids put into <laughs> the beer to make a liquid. I, ah. <laughs> anyway, so we don't know. We just don't do it. We just don't. Do we it. just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> bitterness units is five. So so if what? that if that is IBU, the bitterness <laughs> unit is five. five? I, I don't think I've had one that low. No, I think my lowest that I've, that's ever settled on the thing is fifteen. Yeah, I've never seen those five. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> They, they rated it at a five. Oh, that's really, that's It's hilarious. like, do, do you really need to rate it when it's at a five? <laughs> it's like nothing. That's kind of like, like, it's like, it's like, it's like I mean, taking not a, zero. Yeah. At least to say, hey, at least it's not zero. Well, it's like taking a test and say, I'm sorry, son, but you got a 25. <laughs> Why even bother? <laughs> I already failed at 50. <laughs> you know? But Why? at least it's not, not zero, you know? It's not yeah, zero. that's true. So the yeast is uh, ale yeast. So here's what it looks like on the, the close-up camera. You got to close the camera. Yeah. Uh, bitterness, hoppiness. Or bitterness hoppiness. Bittering hops is experimental variety. We don't know. No. The finishing hops is experimental variety. We don't know. <laughs> the malts used is a two ray pale, two row pale. Sorry. So well, we do know that one. Yeah. And we uh, others is, <laughs> others others. So we don't so, know. <laughs> others <laughs> is going to be cactus, grapefruit, and coriander. Coriander. That, that's found in the shot top. Right. Right. That's found in the shock top, so we know yeah. that part. We yeah. know that much. So yeah, there you go. There's that. So Spinners. let me uh, as Chris plays with his self, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. look, look up ghost style. So what? Yeah, what is a ghost style? It's T Y L E. Oh, you don't have your L E D yeah. one out here, do you? No, no, it's in my room. So on here it's saying uh, oh, a ghost is a top <clears throat> top fermented beer that is. Originated in, I'm gonna slaughter this name, Gos, uh, Goslar, Germany. It is brewed with at least 50% of the grain bill being malted wheat. Only 50%? 50%. Wow. So that's um, pretty specific. Um, dominating flavors in ghosts include a lemon sourness and herbal characteristics. Herbal. And a, yeah. Oh, herbal, sorry. Herbal. Herbs. Herbal, herbal. And a strong saltiness. This is from Wikipedia, and we know that Wikipedia is nothing but facts. Nothing but nothing facts. But facts. So there's that. <laughs> there goes our audio. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night. It just spun it right <laughs> off the table. <laughs> so that annoying thing you're hearing right now. Mm. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, do you want to? A little one over there. Oh, that was mine! <laughs> <laughs> Out of all of them to use, you lost mine! I'm done. I'm flying Whack. off the table. Whack! I kind of know where Whack. it is. It's over there somewhere. Whack! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. Go ahead and pop them open. Let's dig into it. Yeah. Oops. Damn! Again! Well, at least the audio comes from our chest, not the back. Yeah. Well, hopefully. If you're hearing a hell of a lot of rumble, we're sorry. Well, you yeah. know. Life. <laughs> and stuff. Whoa, that's really Dude. supposed to be bubbly for me. <laughs> it's Champhagen. Look at 
It's champagne. It's, it's, it's champagne. <laughs> it's like champagne. I mean, champagne. <laughs> champagne. It's actually pronounced champagne. <laughs> oh, God. Champagne. <laughs> that was a future Rama quote, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I watched that show way too Look much. Look at all the bubbles going on. It's like, it's very carbonated. That, that's what it is. nice about this. It, it looks like champagne. Yeah. Or soda pop. Yeah, or soda pop. So, it was very clear. Uh, and, and so it's, it, wait, wait. it smells citrusy. Cit it? Citrus, citrusy. So it's filtered like crazy. So it's really, really clear. It is. It's carbonated really nicely. Look at all that uh, head that I got on there. It's like, God, it's like an inch and a half of head on there. Couldn't even that, get. I couldn't even all, get. Couldn't that's even, all you got, Chris. Was an inch and a half. Couldn't even get all the beer in there. I'm there we sorry. go. There's my. There's my two inches for me. <laughs> there it is, baby. All two inches. Well, you cheek it. it. Smells so tricky. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It almost smells like well grapefruit? water. You know what they said? That there's the grapefruit in there. Oh, that's probably what I'm smelling. Yeah. It's a little bit. Because it grapefruit. almost smells like well water. Yeah. Yeah. Clean, fresh, refreshing. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Ghost. Goose, goose that beer. Oh my God. Oh, that's very summery. Lemon. I can taste the sourness. <laughs> yeah. Get some sour to it. You don't smell it, but you can sure no, taste yeah. it. Wow. So yeah, so that's, there's, that's there's what like cactus a- cactus tastes like, huh? There's like a, yeah. Oh, there you go. A little bit of that cactus slash grapefruit mixed mm. together kind of gives you this, this, this tart. And the like coriander, a, isn't the coriander the um, the bad part of a the grapefruit or something? Or an or, 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 or No, 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 because when they make a shot top, they, they say, no, they, they, they put the citrus peels in there, there's so, mm -hmm. so there's that. Mm -hmm. Coriander is more like a, I don't know, like a seasoning. Oh, is it a seasoning? Yeah. So okay. Like, so there's a, a tiny, tiny bit of that, probably to balance out this tartness. Yeah. So we probably can't taste coriander in here. Oh, but, okay. but it's there because, because it would make, if they didn't, the grapefruit, it's would, the, would definitely, overpower. Yeah, so it's probably, definitely yeah. that hint of bitter. It's not very, very bitter. Uh, we recently had a bitter beer, and that was bitter. Right, that was a bitter beer. This is. It's got that kind of citrus or that sour you would beer, want. Say right, it's more sour. More sour. So I can taste the sour. Yeah, yeah this is more sour. I, I, I'd imagine so, like on a summer summer day where it's really, really hot, you kind of want that lemonade sourness to kind of quench your thirst. This is yeah. gonna do it. Oh, we totally forgot the damn bottle cap. Oh yeah, son of a blueberry biscuit in summertime. What is going on? So here's the bottle cap, you guys. Ready for it? And get a good angle. I'll just Three. hit it. I'll hit it with this. You ready? With the one I got. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Boom! Boom. There's That's your, what the there's your cap bottle looks cap. like. Yep. Sierra Nevada. It just says Sierra Nevada. Right Very now. nice. Yeah. That's a nice Very picture. Nice. Cool. So there you go. Very nice. Yeah. So, um, you see, that's the picture you just saw. <laughs> Do you see it? It's right there. <laughs> I'm phone and ready. I only had a couple beers a day, so seriously, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, we did our beer reviews on oh, Monday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so thank you, Snyders, for providing us with this delicious snack. What? And helping us taste our beers better. No, they didn't. You <laughs> bought that. Oh, no, yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, with so my own money. Thanks for nothing, Snyders. I made with my two hands. Snyder's. <laughs> on the corner. I Don't ask some... me what I do for a living, but I use both of them. I want to say some bad living. stuff about Snyder's right now, but I can't think of anything harsh enough to say. It's, it's hard like, to say it, man. Wait, we've actually been doing do... this for uh, uh, 100 beers now, yeah. and you guys haven't like even uh, said, hey, thanks for talking about us all, every single time. So uh, yeah, F you, Snyder's. But I do like your pretzels. Yeah. Well, if you feel like sponsoring us, we're game. <laughs> but until then, we double dare you. Yeah. <laughs> Snyder's, we double. There you go. Dare you. Yeah. Sponsor us with well, free Snyder's when we do these bear yeah. things. Dare you to do it. Dare you to do it. But you dare, can't do it. Double dare. Double dog dare you. But you won't do it, but you can't do it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, yeah. our I, opinions are as we eat salt, it's going to open our taste buds and let us taste the beer a lot better. Yeah. Or gooder. Thanks for nothing. Delicious. Yeah. There we go. I think it. I think it makes it more gooder. Really tastes that uh, sourness. Yeah, which it, I'm guessing is the grapefruit. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. brings out the 
the, the citrusy part of it. Yeah. yeah, definitely the grapefruit. So I think, I think, I think it's a good summer beer. Mm -hmm. No tangy twist on the uh, nearly extinct goose style. Yeah, I would say so. I've never heard about it. Yeah, I, I mean, I've, or ghosts. Yeah, how are we go G O S E. I, I yeah. imagine that's ghost because if it was yeah. G O S S, that'd be goss. If it was goose, it'd have two O's in it. So since it's, it's G O S E, I, would, I guess that's ghost. So it's a ghost style, whatever that weird name. Thanks, guys. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And uh, I think they might be bringing it back because of that, you know, that nice summery taste that we all need when it's when it's 90 degrees out at least and uh, you're, you want to drink your, your beer beverage. Boom, it's like mm -hmm. takes care of everything right there. Not year round, I wouldn't drink it year round. No, no, but uh, on a hot day. You know, yeah, honestly, only uh, yeah, mainly on the hot days because it's uh, yeah. doesn't it doesn't have a big beer taste to it. No, but it does have a nice refreshing taste to it, right. which is what that. And there's a big difference. So. Like we, we reach for the Hefeweizen because it's mm -hmm. hot. You know, it's, it's refreshing. Yeah, but and I still have that nice beer. It's taste. It's a nice beer taste. Uh -huh. But uh, this one would be like I am like super hot, super thirsty. This is gonna like hit the spot. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe two. Uh, I can imagine myself drinking about two of these, yeah. and that, but that's it. And I would go back to Hefeweizen or yeah. something like that. And they're, they're low on the alcohol too, so it's not like you're gonna get stinking drunk outside while you're Good trying point. to do some yard work. Yeah. Nice refreshing beer you can enjoy. Yeah. And I know a lot of people make fun of Odul's. I've never drank an Odul, but I know that the alcohol by volume of that is like 0 .07. Basically, yeah. alcohol free. Nothing. Yeah. But I want to see if it actually tastes like a beer because some people actually do enjoy the taste I, of a beer. I've drank it just for the fun of it and not wanting to get drunk off of it. I've, I've drank so. it just for the fun of it. It does, yeah. taste like, it does taste like a beer. It does taste like a beer. Yeah, so I, there's a, that. Weak, a weak beer, but it, it does yeah. taste like a beer. So if you want the taste of a beer but you don't want to get shit faced drunk, yeah. There you go. There you go. And that's what's kind of nice about this because you can still go outside and do some yard work and drink this. Yeah, it's still almost the, the same uh, alcohol as, as, a, as a Budweiser or a Coors. A little bit more. A little bit, more a little bit lower, yeah. A but little bit more. Wait, a little bit lower. Yeah, it's four point something. Yeah. So a tiny bit lower than yeah. that. Not by much, but it's a little bit lower than that. So, but it's a great refreshing drink. Yeah. So, yeah. I so, enjoy it. So pick yourself up some Sierra, so Sierra Nevada. What is that? Uh, uh, a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a all right. Yeah, I did take a picture right now. Uh, oh, that's the picture that you're gonna get that you I go. just showed you. It's that one right there. <laughs> that one right there. You see it? Yeah. Pick that up at the grocery store. Right there. And we're glad you you uh, stopped by to watch our Give It A Shot review of this beer. And we'll see you next time on Give It A Shot. Have a good one. Later. <laughs>